Anyways, I'm, I'm really curious how, uh, how you're going to get uh, MIT students involved. Oh, they're already and, uh, involved. MIT students are already involved. The, the way we typically start these flight projects is we have design classes, both for undergraduates and graduate students. And uh, we've had quite a few projects which have gone on to fly in space, which get their genesis as part of a class project. Um, we've had a few shuttle experiments, and then the spheres, which are now up on the International Space Station. The students don't end up building the actual flight hardware, by and large. Um, for there, we, we get aerospace professionals who you know, have experience, although the students work with them and play a part in testing and mission planning and operations. You know, there's nothing that's more exciting for, for a student interested in space than, you know, to get it, get your hands on, touch space, so to speak. And, and that's why we do it, because, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's motivating, it's exciting, and it's an incredible experience. And, you know, when, when we finally get this, these operations going, the, the students will play an important role in the test program and hopefully in, in the mission operations. So are you getting uh, both undergraduates and graduate students involved? Uh, we are, and, and this, this spring we were, we're going to try an experiment of, of having a combined graduate-undergraduate course, and the graduate students will sort of be the team leaders, and that, I think, will be, uh, in, in addition to giving them technical experience, it will give them some organizational experience, and you know, we're interested in developing engineering leadership skills. And so we'll see how it works out with the graduate students essentially being team leaders for the undergraduates. It's an experiment. I'm, I'm very excited to see how it works.